lights are red. Go. Good start from Schenker. Valfridsson jinks to the side of Trevor Hopkins and he's through into second position by the first corner. And now the race is on between the two top drivers in European Rallycross in this B final, four and a half laps of it. They're round Chesson's drift, very slippery indeed, and 420 horsepower from Martin Schenker's Ford. Close on that from the Volvo of Per Inge Valfridsson, up Harry Hill, the short Harry Hill. This is the shortened version. They cut out the long drag up to the top because of the very muddy conditions which are bringing cars to a standstill. Schenker, Ford, Valfridsson, then round the right-hander and panel. Only in fifth position is Trevor Hopkins, and of course there are only five runners in the race as Valfridsson nudges Schenker's rear boot lid, and they're on the second lap now. This is it. And Schenker, of course... Already in the lead, you can see the big wing on the back of the Saks Escort. Lots of power feeding through those smoking rear wheels as Martin Skanker of Norway, currently second in the European Championship, up to the hairpin for the first of these three and a half laps. Down the hairpin now, he's going to be hitting 100 miles an hour briefly as he goes down this hill, working to get away from his fellow Norwegian, Yetil Bolneset. Over the bumps now, the car coming right off the ground on this bump and feeding the power through. There goes the second escort, two and a half laps left now as they cross the start-finish line beneath us and go down again to the slippery, cindery and then chalky surface of Chesson's Drift and once again this neat, tight line from Martin Skanko as he goes through Chesson's Drift for the final time. The chequered flag should be waiting for him. Drift in second position, Walter Meyer who's going to stay there unless Schenker has trouble. the way is the lap record holder here at Lyddon over the, the race record over three and a half laps two minutes 48.7 and that's already been broken this afternoon this is going to do that and he will be worried about winning in less than two minutes 43 seconds Meyer's car is stuck in the middle of the course but they have all negotiated him safely the marshals are desperately trying to push it out of the way. Is that surprising to see Will Gollop right at the back? He's going to really have his work cut out to make his way up through the field. Meanwhile, Martin Schenker leads Seppo Nitimaki. Don't forget, Nitimaki is the current leader in the championship. He won't like to be being behind Martin. Nitimaki won the last qualifier. Martin he's, he's won the two four. before that. Yes, four. Nitimaki has won uh, four altogether, but Martin has won two. So you're watching absolute champions, but Shankar and the Persia 20516, two ultimate supercars developed by two top manufacturers, fighting it out here on Chesson's Drift. And this is the right point to mention that Nitimaki is the man that was tipped to win the series this year. Same thing that he did at the uh, Euro Circuit in Volkswagen in Holland back in August, chasing Martin Skanker all the way to the flag. Then it was wet. Will, you'll remember, took the gamble to run on forest tyres that day. No gamble about tyres here today. They know that. And this is slick stuff indeed. And it is indeed Martin Skanker coming away. Martin looking for his third consecutive second place this in the European Championship, of course. A second place to Martin Skanker. Will's going to take third place in the series. Terry Ski is going to go down to fourth. That's the way it looks. He's opted for the RS2000 because it's a little bit wider between the wheel arches and therefore you can fit a bigger turbocharger in. But bear in mind, as he said in the interview, the car carries 136 kilograms of lead. It loses around 7 tenths of a second per lap. So it loses time and Martin Skanker is pulling well clear of Will Gollop now. Through the chicane, onto Chesson Strip for the last time goes Martin Skanker. Well, he may not have won the A final, he's going to make up for it though by winning the Super Final. Martin Skanker back onto the Dover slope, the chequered flag at the ready, and Martin Skanker scores victory in the Super Final. Will Gollop comes home in second place ahead of Dermot Carnegie, Lawrence Gibson is fourth ahead of Ian Rowlands, and Mike Turpin recovering to finish sixth. So there he is, the great rallycross showman, Martin Skanker, the party trick of getting out of the car and still driving it on the lap of honour is there 
celebrated in front of a very enthusiastic British crowd here at the third round of the Compromotive Wheels Rallycross Championship.